We're going to move to another room. Until we get there, we have to be absolutely silent, okay? Understood. Your command has been implanted. Good. To have him react like a machine like that all of a sudden. I didn't know how to react. Makoto. In the secret room, there are a bunch of different cables on, in one of the dark desk drawers. So there might be a network cable in there? However... Assuming the mastermind hasn't taken it already. Well, all we can do is go in and check out for ourselves. It's true. Agreed. Let's head to the secret room. Where's the secret room again? Shit. Hopefully the map will dictate to us where it is. I know it's in the boys' bathroom somewhere. But where in the boys' bathroom? Second floor, boys' bathroom. Got it. Oops. What am I doing? I need a fast travel there first off. Oops. No, not fast travel where we are right now. Silly. Makoto. There we go. Okay. Here we go. Hey. Hey, Makoto. Why? Are you sure all the documents are gone? I refuse to believe you. Go and check again. What? Listen to me. Just hurry up and go. And to make sure you don't run away, I'm gonna wait right here. Oh, I get it. She's acting. She was so forceful, I thought I made her mad again somehow. Just a second. Why aren't you staying there? Go hurry up and go. Okay, okay, I'm going. So then. And be thorough. I'm counting on you. Yeah, I'm trusting you on this, Kyoko. Better not fuck with me. Alright, Ethernet cable. There are like some documents left. Okay. First, we have to find a network cable. What's the network cable again? There's those two things. It's only those two things. Okay, okay, okay. Is it behind here again or something? There's so many documents here before, now I saw nothing. Who took them and why? Underneath the desk, right? According to Kyoko, there should be a bunch of cables in this drawer. Found it! A network cable, right? Now we just have to connect to Alter Ego. I merely got to work. I pulled out the laptop and connected it to the Ethernet port with the cable. Ooh, excuse me. And that should do it. Um. Um. That's right. Yeah, I think it worked. Leave it to me. Just leave it the rest of me. I swear I'll find something. I might even be able to connect it to the outside world. If I can, I'll see if I can help for help. So, so please, just wait a little lot while longer. I'm just hold tight and put your faith in me. As I was about to leave, I decided to leave him with the one last thing. No matter what, we're gonna get out of this. You and all the rest of us, as friends. Huh? Friends? Even me? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Makoto. Okay. Okay. Makoto. How'd it go? Well, it went okay, but all the um, documents were gone, just like I told you. My reply was an unintentional mix of acting and real feelings. Correct. I see. Then there's nothing left for us here. Goodbye. Goodbye. Before I knew it, Kyoko was walking away. She wasn't acting anymore. That was much for sure. Ha! Ah, Kyoko! What? Yes? Um, so we're just gonna split Why up? That? Of course, I have no reason to stay with you at this point. <sighs> Should I hesitate and fumble for something to say? You're so high maintenance! <laughs> that's not what I meant. I just had more I wanted to talk to you about, like, what you're gonna do about Sakura. It's true. Well, something has to be done. It's true. However... But the way things are right now, there's no way to persuade anyone. They don't have the mind to listen. Then what should we do? So... We could find some new clue that would likely change the situation. That's all we can hope for right now. Which is why Alter Ego... Correct. All I can do is wait, and believe in our friends. Alright then. Part ways and I headed back to my room. I'm kinda tired. <laughs> it's still daytime though. Maybe it was because of the stress of moving Alter Eco, but I was way more tired than I realized. So before long at all... I had completely dozed off. Ah, ah, who, who was that? Excuse me? Ah, I'm coming, I'm coming. The sharp sound of the doorbell pierced my sleepy haze and pulled me back to the real world. Alright. Please tell me Alter Ego's still there and not gone. Makoto. Makoto, get out here. Indeed. He just came to see me, and she was white as a ghost. 
Sounds like something's happened. As soon as I heard those words, my heart started to beat a little faster. She said for us to come to the rec room. Alright. Why am I so tiny? Mikado, Kyoko, Hino, what's wrong? There was a window in the rec room door and I hurried to the other side and when I did... Sakura? Is she unconscious? She's sitting up in the chair like she's bowing her head. Hey. What's going on? Did something happen to her? I was just walking past and I noticed, happened to notice her through the window, but I couldn't get the door open. I tried knocking, I tried calling her name, but she wouldn't respond. So, what should we do? What are we going to do? Anyway. First of all, we need to get into that rev room. And we can't violate the fucking rules, goddammit! We're going to force our way in. Wrong. The door isn't locked. It's not locked because the rec room doesn't have doesn't have a lock. Ah, oh, smart thinking, actually, now that I think about it. Then why? It feels like the door is pressing up against something inside the room. Is it a chair? In other words. Either way, this door isn't locked, which means as far as I can tell, the rule doesn't apply. And there's no problem if we break in? Indeed. Let's smash the window. That should be the fastest way in, at least. Yeah, as long as we don't break the door, I'll go get something to break with. Wait right here. Okay. Inside the rec room, Sakura still hadn't moved an inch. She's just unconscious, right? Is she okay? I mean, it's Sakura, so I'm sure... Here! I found a broom in the classroom! Use it! Wait, why do I have to do... Okay, fine, I'll do it, I guess. I don't think I'm the strongest one out of these two, but whatever. The windows shattered into the hundred pieces scattering across the rec room floor. I stuck my hand through the door and opened the window, blah blah blah. The chair is pretty heavy, but if I can just push it onto my old strength, I can finally turn the dollar knob. Sakura! I ran up to her as fast as I could, but the moment I laid my hand on her... All I felt was cold death. I could feel only the last lingering warmth of a living body. Life had abandoned Sakura's body. And then... A body has been discovered! You gotta be kidding me, right? After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin! Motherfucker. Well, that uh, ends the recording session of today's episode. Huh? Sakura's. 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 Dead? She's really dead? I heard Hina talking while my stared steadily forward. I could only look. At Sakura's dead body. Doesn't really look dead, she's just Oh, there's blood! We didn't make it in time. It's happening again. It's happened again. Muttering to herself, Kyoko began to gently inspect Sakura's body. I wonder, was she confirming that Sakura really was dead? Checking for a pulse or reaction? I had to go get them. I have to go get the others. On shaky legs, Hina left the room, and I... Why? Why did this have to happen? That's all I could say. I repeated over and over again. I need to examine Sakura's body. Okay! Why does it have to be the good characters that die? Ugh, okay. And after I don't know for how long... I got everyone. What? Uh, uh, ogre? Mm, yes, yes. Uh, I see. 
As soon as they arrived, Kyoko began. Just a second. You heard the announcement just now, right? So you know what this means? <laughs> Interesting. Sakura was murdered, and by someone in this very room. Is this what you were going to say? Huh? No. Whoever killed her, it's not just someone in this room. It's your fault! It's one of you, Hiro, Byakuya, Toko! One of you killed Sakura! <laughs> what? What? You're accusing us before we've even begun the investigation. I don't need to investigate anything! Because you hated her! You hated the sight of her! One of you did it. I know it. You know it. Oh, fuck. Jeez, I didn't know your power level could increase by that much just by getting mad! What are you doing here? Isn't it obvious? I'm here to hand out my little murder flyer. That's right! It's the next Monokuma file! Okay. Hmm. Hold on. There's something I want to ask you. It was you, wasn't it? You killed Sakura. Sakura wanted to challenge the mastermind to, to a duel. Maybe you and her fought again, and then... Then I killed her? Sorry, not quite. Actually, not even close. That whole thing is totally irrelevant now. Sakura came to the most regrettable end without even getting the chance to finish things with me. Which, thank God for that, I saved me the trouble of having to go through our little fight. Because even now, for someone like me, I would have been no, no mean feat to take down a behemoth like that. Um, I gotta tell ya, it was actually pretty. I was actually pretty worried. I mean, she'd violate a rule by attacking me in the first place, but I wouldn't be able to punish her. So I don't know who is it was, but whoever the blackened is this time, I owe ya one. What is this? You owe them one? <laughs> Oopsie! Before you get all pissy potty at me, you better figure out who did it first. Cause I mean, your lives are all on the line, right? <laughs> Boo hoo hoo! <laughs> okay. This. this is gonna be one complicated fucking case we're getting into. I will forgive you. <sighs> so unless Aoi is a very, very good actor, I definitely do not think that she did it. <laughs> Kyoko. I don't know, we separate our ways, so maybe this could happen all at once or something. But at the same time, I think she might have an alibi. So as of now, it could be any other three right now. <laughs> anyway. Right now our top priorities need to be uncovering Sakura's killer. If we can't do that, we're all dead. Hmm. And let's decide who will stand guard this time. I'll do it. Hina? I'm okay. Just let me handle it. Besides, I want to be here with Sakura. That's fine. What? Me? Hm. You're always a thorn on my side. This time, just stand by and watch quietly. Consider that an order. An order? That's fine. Hm. What? Hiro, Byakuya, Toko, none of you are allowed to step foot in the crime scene. Huh? What? It's your fault! I won't forgive you. Stop talking. <laughs> it's all clear now. Okay, I apologize for that. <laughs> Don't worry, there was no commentary anyway, so it doesn't really matter, but... I just noticed the light on my microphone wasn't blinking, and... It was, for some reason, um, disconnected somehow. I don't know how that happened, but... Everything should be fine right now. Hopefully. Anyway, so... Nothing's decided! Calm down. I know how you feel, Hina. Or you should agree to his request. But, but... Hey. 
We have to find out who the, who killed Sakura. For those of us still alive, and to honor Sakura's memory. Fine, I guess that's okay. But no matter what, Byakuya, you absolutely aren't allowed to touch her! <laughs> Naturally, who would want to touch a filthy dead body? Listen. That's enough fighting. We need to focus on the investigation from here on out. I mean, I'm still... I'm still able to uncover things, right? Everyone, keep this in mind. If we can't uncover the Sakura's pillar, Listen to me. all of us face execution. Finding out who killed Sakura. And we'll figure out in the next episode of Danganronpa. Stay tuned for that episode, guys.